Into his American adventures comes Bulldog Drummond. Horton's Ice Cream, New York's favorite, brings you your favorite detective adventurer, Bulldog Drummond, in another of his exciting escapades. Champion of lost causes, amateur detective, the most celebrated soldier of fortune of the screen and radio... Bulldog Drummond comes to you each Monday evening at the same time with more of his baffling and intriguing mysteries. For adventure and excitement, keep this rendezvous with Bulldog Drummond every week. And for refreshment in between times, enjoy Horton's Ice Cream. tell you about tonight's adventure, here's Bulldog Drummond. Tonight's adventure took place very recently. So recently, in fact, that I'm still both amazed and profoundly grateful that Denny and I survived its dangers. I'm grateful, too, that more than one Axis submarine will no longer... However, that's a part of our story. A story which begins late on an overcast night in a certain east coast harbor. And one of the largest of the vessels anchor there, an oil tanker, the watchman pauses suddenly to listen. His attention caught by an unaccustomed sound. Uh, I wouldn't think it's that. Hey, who's making that tarnation noise? What's going on out there? All right. All right, speak up. Who's there? Shut up, Joe. What did... Keep your trap shut, mister. Say, who are you? How'd you get aboard? What's going on around here? I'll ask the questions, Joe. My name ain't Joe. It is to me. Want to earn some cash? Hmm. Oh. Why, easy, Joe, easy. If anybody asks you about tonight, why, just make out like you didn't hear nothing and you didn't see nothing. Get it? You're up to something crooked. Then you ain't interested, No, I ain't. You know, you go and get out of here now. Go on. Get out before I call the cops. Okay, Joe. Don't make no difference to me. Penny saves, a penny iron. Hey, what? Ah. Ah. Like it better that way, Joe? Oh, heaven bless you, Captain Drummond, sir. Heaven bless you. I know you'd help me. Yes, I will, Mrs. Regan. I will. I give you my word. Tim always admired you, sir. Happiest days of his life they was, them months when he was working as your gardener, sir. So when I seen it right in print that you was in town, You offered to let me help you, and quite properly, too. I'd have considered it unfriendly if you hadn't. But, uh, Mrs. Regan... Yes, sir? What makes you think I can do more than the police? You say they found your husband in the alley behind, uh, What was the name of that tavern? The Blue Pelican, sir. It is near the docks in the horrible place it is, sir. Hmm. Well, that sounds like it. And that was when? Oh, most a week ago now, sir. And they claim it must have happened in some kind of a fight. Claim my Tim must have been drunk. Said they smelled of liquor, something terrible. Tim smelled of liquor? I don't believe it. Oh, that's just it. Tim never drank a drop in his life, sir. I, I told the police. If the odor of whiskey was found on Tim... Either he'd been forced to swallow it before his murder, or it was sprinkled on his clothing afterwards. His murderer had a reason for it. Mrs. Regan, will you go home now and believe that Tim's murderer will be found? I know he'll be, Captain Drummond, if you say it, sir. Yes, I have your address. You'll hear it from me the moment I've news. Goodbye, sir. I don't know how to thank you. And why should you? Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Denny. Yes, sir. Get our things, will you? We're paying a visit to the docks. Any luck, Denny? Not a particle, sir, and you, sir. Nothing. Hard, isn't it? You think someone would have seen poor Regan leave his ship that night? 
You inquired of everyone I suggested? Everyone, sir. Surely Denny, a watchman leaving an oil tank of that size, would have been observed by someone. The fact that he wasn't seems to indicate that his means of departure must have been rather extra. Hmm. Who's this fellow coming along the wharf? A most unpleasant-looking chap, sir. Yes, isn't he? Evening. Oh, good evening. I seen you guys around. Oh, yes? Private cops? Well, uh, well, no, not exactly. Why? I heard you asking questions about Tim Regan, a watchman. So you maybe his old lady hired you. No, Tim was our friend. Oh, I get it, Joe. Joe? Oh, that's nothing. Just the way of calling a guy. Yes? And so? Well, I seen Regan that night. I thought maybe you'd like to know. I seen him leaving his ship. Really? Yeah. Oh, and that guy was cockeyed, soused, walking on rubber legs. I was passing, see? And he yelled, didn't I want to go with him and get a drink? And I told him to go soak his head. And then? Well, he got his drink, I guess. I didn't pay no attention. I just figured you'd like to know. Yes, yes, indeed. Your information is of great value. Probably of more value than you realize. Ah, it's all right, Joe. Glad to help you out. Well, I'll be seeing you. Huh? Oh, oh, yes. Yes, I'm sure you will. Denny. Yes, Captain Drummond, sir. That fellow said he saw Tim Regan drunk. He lied. If he lied, he undoubtedly had good cause. We're going to follow him. Oh, but, sir... Wait, what? You go around the corner of the shed? Why? Why, yes, I believe he did, sir. Listen. Hear anything? Nothing, sir. Nor do I. Like the dog that didn't bark in the night, that's very strange. If it kept on, we should still hear his footsteps. I wonder... Oh, don't get too close to the edge of the dock, sir. Denny, I think... Oh, Captain Drummond, sir! Captain... Captain Drummond, sir! Where are you? Where are you, sir? Officer, I say, officer. Huh? Oh, it's you. Have you... Have you... No. Nope. I'm sorry, fellow. I got some of the boys operating the grappling hooks and there's others still searching under the piers. But so far, there hasn't been a sign of them. Oh, this is horrible. You didn't see him again after the shots were fired, huh? After you fell in? Oh, no, not even for a moment, uh, sir. It was, it was precisely as if he'd vanished into thin air, uh, sir. Well... What likely happened, he must have got sucked under the pilings, and by now, with the tide going out for the last hour, the commission himself couldn't tell you where to look. But don't you worry. We'll find the body for you someplace. Oh, did... did you say the body? That's what I said. If he wants his ghost, you'll have to see someone higher up than me. <laughs> Friend. Here, Bell. Get back here out of the light, you huh? fat head, or I'll kick them gold teeth down your throat. Ah, Bell, cut it out. Yeah, well, I don't like it much right now. Look, huh? there by that crown. That the guy was with the dummy you knocked off? Yeah, that's him. Okay. Get back to the boat. Hey, how long are you going to take? How should I know? Go on, get going before I slap you around a little just to keep a figure down. Hi, fellow. Uh, oh, oh, good evening, madam. Want to hear something interesting? Huh? Pally you uh, just had some tough luck, didn't they? Why, well, yes, but, but what? I can know where's the guy what plugged them. You, you mean you know? I might. Come on along. Oh, yes, yes, indeed. Just one moment. I'll get the police. Oh, no, you don't. Cops ain't cursed. Oh, but... Uh, now, hold it, handsome. I ain't a debating society. I'm just a little lady that's trying to do you a favor because I don't like killers. Maybe I've... Stuck my neck out too far already. Follow him. Uh, oh, no, 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 wait. Uh, uh, I, uh, I'll go with you. Oh, uh, that's better. Um, uh, is it very far? Not especially. Uh, where do we go? Down this way, along the dock. Oh. Uh, it's, um, it's quite dark. Yeah. Uh, uh, how, how did you learn who the fellow is? Oh, I just happened to hear some of the boys talking. I don't like the guy, so I thought I'd tickle myself by turning them in. Oh. Isn't that a boat? Yeah. But what's it doing here? There's the dock, and that's the harbor, ain't it? Where'd you expect the boat to be? Steady Hall? Oh, no, no, but... All right, Joe. What? But you're the... Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm me. See this healer? 
Oh, behave, brother, behave. All aboard. Not the way work. Kick her over, Slim. Get started. We got business to do. What is the desperate game that Bell and Slim are playing? A game so desperate that they murdered to avoid detection. You learn more about these questions in just a few moments. These days, most everyone knows something about the vitamins and minerals and other food essentials they need for good health. But here's one good health fact you may not know. That's the fact that ice cream is one of the finest foods, one of the most healthful and nutritious foods you can eat. Yes, your favorite dessert, ice cream, is good for you. And folks, there's none better than Horton's Delicious Ice Cream. Because Horton's Ice Cream is smooth, rich, flavorful. It's made of fine, high-quality ingredients. And it gives you all the important food elements you get in milk and cream vitamin A, minerals, and other food essentials necessary to good health. So remember to enjoy Horton's ice cream often. It's real food. And make your Horton treat for today or tomorrow that grand cherry vanilla ice cream your Horton dealer has on hand. It's a combination of velvety vanilla ice cream and tender ripe cherries. One taste of this grand cherry vanilla treat, and you'll agree that Horton's H-O-R-T-O-N-S Spells nourishment in its most delicious form. Yes, Horton's Ice Cream. And now back to Bulldog Drummond. We left Denny being shanghaied by Bell and Slim, who told Denny that they were leading him to the person he believes has murdered Bulldog Drummond. Their boat pulls away from the pier. It is a few minutes later. Bell is speaking. We're getting close to the point, Slim. Better swing out a little before we're around it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, how's our pal? Ah, oh, he's all right. Tied him up his man ass on the top. Uh-oh. Look there. Huh? Fog's coming in off the ocean. Mighty thick, too. What time is it? Uh, 9.30. Hey, this don't mean we're making another trip tonight, does it? Sure. But we ain't heard from Snyder. Well, I got those says we will. Come on, tip on it. He's coming, I want to be back to the barge before he gets there. Hey, what about Handsome here? Oh, forget him. He'll keep. He's tied up beautifully, ain't you, Handsome? Madam, as a gentleman's gentleman, there's nothing I can say which will pass a gentleman's gentleman's lips. Hey, Bell, that's double talk. Let's cheer on him, don't it? All right, shake a leg and come on up on the bar. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Oh. Oh. Oh! Oh, say, Danny, would you mind rolling over a bit? You're on my leg, you know. Okay, you kept it in trouble, sir. Yes, quiet. The father, if you please, Danny. Oh, that's splendid. But, but, but you're dead, sir, am I? But isn't this an abrupt way of breaking the news to me? Oh, but, sir, you, you were shot. The police are looking for your body. And I'm sorry, but they won't find it. And Captain Drummond, I confess it, sir. I simply don't know what to say. I am completely bewildered. Oh, but it's all quite simple. But, sir, when that horrible chap fired at I did the most sensible thing and removed myself. You see, Danny, it seems quite clear now that Slim realized it was odd no one had seen Regan leave the tanker. Therefore, to soothe our suspicions, he volunteered that holy medical tale of his. Oh, yes, quite so, sir. But when he dropped on us, we immediately discovered that he'd made a mistake. That we knew Regan didn't drink. So he'd have to erase his mistake by erasing me. And uh, you deliberately let him think you're dead, sir? Of course. And you were watching where we searched for you, sir? <laughs> Jimmy, I was within 30 feet of you the entire time. 30 feet? Incredible, sir. When I spotted Bell and Slim, I secreted myself under this tarpaulin. And, as you must by this time be aware, here I am. Oh, that's a fine tour, isn't it? Just where are we? Well, it's become quite foggy, sir, but we do seem to be a good bit offshore. 
Put you on time, me. Good night. Oh, of course, then. I completely forgot. Here, turn around and I... Hold it. But, sir... Sorry, I'm afraid you'll have to wait. That's a tugboat. And unless I'm greatly mistaken, it's going to tie up to that barge. Slim would have seen this frog coming, you Never mind that, Fraulein. There is no time. To please call Slim to the deck house. I must return to shore. There are things that is necessary for you to know. Now then, I will repeat your instructions. There must be no mistake. Captain Lister will take you to a point three miles off Reef Island, where you will drop anchor. There you will be out of the way of the harbor traffic on the shipping lanes. You will then send out the code message. Your wireless has been repaired. Sure. Good. The message consists of two words. Thick fog. Yeah. To have that. Thick fog. You will send that message for precisely two minutes. No more, no less. Then you will do in every respect exactly as you have done before, Fräulein. You will simply wait. Captain Lister has been instructed to sound his foghorn at regular intervals. That would serve as a guide. Yeah. You will be met by two submarines, both of them badly in need of the fuel carried on this barge. If you do not need them, if they fail to receive this fuel... Goodbye, you both, huh? Yes, and also... Huh? Goodbye, Fräulein. Denny. Yes, Captain. I've been doing a little eavesdropping. The chap will be along in a moment to use this motorboat to get ashore. I'll have to leave you tied and hunt cover aboard the barge. They're going to take you inside the deck house. But, but they mean to kill me, Denny, sir. Then we're on to bigger game than we ever dreamed of. So big that... Well, there's not time to explain now. You'll have to take my word for it. But trust me, will you? Of course, sir. Denny, you've got intestinal fortitude. Oh, really? Is it serious, sir? Serious. As a matter of fact, Denny, it may be the death of you. Oh, I see what a beastly noise out there. Must they make all that racket? This is as far as the tug goes, handsome. I'll let the anchor go, Bill. No, stay here. I can manage. Well, handsome, this is where you get off. Too bad you ain't got a round-trip ticket. A round-trip ticket? That's what I said, fella. Slim. Yeah? Suppose you show handsome the way out, huh? Show him... Oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah, you bet. Goodbye, handsome. Ain't it too bad we won't never get to know each other better? <laughs> you hear that, Joe? What an extremely coarse sense of humor. Uh-huh. She, uh, wasn't joking. I say, what are you doing? Just getting my gun. Guess why, Joe? I, uh... Okay. Uh... On your feet. Oh, now, really, you can't... Hey, hey. Gentlemen, careful, sir! Yeah. Like that, my friend? Oh, beautifully done, sir. That you told him for a bit, Denny. Now then, we'll have to work fast. Get you out of these ropes first. Uh, that female, sir, is talking with the captain of the tug, Denny. We'll have time, I think. Uh, Just one second now. There you are. Uh... I'm afraid I'm feeling a bit cramped, sir. Uh, pass. And what now, sir? I'm no use tackling the crew. Too many for us. Let's see. Oh, this is what I'm after. Well, that's their wireless, sir. Yes, I know. It'll take a moment to warm up, I imagine. Let's have a practice go at it, eh? Kind of rusty at this. You, you intend to get a message through to the proper authorities, sir? Right, Denny. Keep a look at it, that forward porthole, will you? Of course, sir. See our hostess? Oh, not a sign of us, sir. Maybe you ain't looking in the right direction. Oh, my ah, word. Ah, ah, ah. Don't touch that gun. I'm nuts about lo loud noises. Might pull this trigger just to hear it go bang, it bang. Never mind, Denny. Good evening, Bell. Kind of cool, ain't you? You must be the gent Slim claimed he plugged. Oh, that Slim there on the floor? Yeah. Well, that's what he gets for taking too much for granted. Carter had it coming. Yes, Bell, I think he did. Just getting ready to use the wireless, huh? Okay, that's fine. Send out a message for me. Thick fog. Just them two words. You know how to spell them? I might manage. Any objection? Under the circumstances, no. Wouldn't be healthy to send anything but what I told you. Really? 
What's to prevent? A bullet in the stomach. Oh. You see, I can't be tricked, pal. I can work that gadget as good as you can. Belle, you're a most remarkable woman. Yeah? And likely to come to a most remarkable end. Now, uh, what was that message? Two words, wasn't it? Ah, yes. Thick fog. Like our friend Slim is coming around, Bill. Now, climb, man. It's very Slim. <clears throat> slim. <clears throat> Snap out of it. Well, how did I get out of here on deck? They brought you out so you could get a little air. Oh. <sighs> See, you're the guy that slugged me. I'll let you... a lot of sorts, aren't you, Slim? Oh, oh you... Sit down. Wobbling on your pins like a kid. Yeah. yeah, I don't feel so good. Say, how come these guys ain't been bumped off yet? Simply that bell has got a soft place in her heart for you, Slim. Huh? You see, she thought it would be a rather nice gesture if she waited until you could manage the, uh, killing yourself. You know how women are, sentimentalists. A wise guy, huh? Oh, and, uh, while we're waiting for your submersible friends, uh... Oh, yes, where are they, I wonder? Let them be alarmed. Don't let it worry you. What was you going to say? Well, several questions have been puzzling me a little. Tim Regan, for instance. You killed him, didn't you, Slim? Why should I tell you anything, Joe? Well, after all, neither Denny or I are likely to repeat it, are we? <laughs> ah, I guess you ain't. Yeah, I knocked him off. What about it? And smuggled his body into that alley behind the tavern? That's right. But why? He couldn't have discovered you stealing all by any chance, could he? You couldn't have been tapping the pipeline from that tanker to the dock. Say, Captain Lister's cut the foghorn. Must have signed it something. Wait a second. Yeah, it's them, Slim. Sam? The submarines? Yeah. Over there on the left. Yeah. Oh, sure, sure, there they are. Well, I'll rig up the pumps. Hey, hey, Bill. What's that? What? Here, here, over this way. It, it's a destroyer. A destroyer. Destroyer? Right over your pumps. Right over. Oh, they can't stop. They're running us down. I for Danny. I know you don't. Let's go, you idiot. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You want a boat to die? Let's go. <laughs> Back to the smashing climax of our mystery in just a moment. Folks, let me ask you for just a moment to picture, if you can, a lovely hillside cherry orchard, the trees heavy with fruit ripening in the sun. Imagine those cherries picked and set aside for your enjoyment. Tempting, flavor-packed cherries waiting to be enjoyed by you. Picture that and you have a good idea of what downright delicious cherries the Horton ice cream people use in their cherry vanilla ice cream. Yes, Horton's cherry vanilla ice cream. Smooth, rich vanilla with tender, tempting ripe cherries all through it. And good? Folks, it's great. Probably the finest fruit ice cream treat you ever tried. It's just what the youngsters love, just what mother and dad go for in a big way, and just what family and guests alike will thoroughly enjoy right through the last luscious spoonful. One taste, and you'll agree, Horton's Cherry Vanilla Ice Cream is absolutely tops for mouth-watering warm weather refreshment. So why not get some and enjoy it tonight? Step out now to the nearest store that displays the red, white, and blue Horton sign and ask for Horton's delicious, fruit-rich, Cherry Vanilla Ice Cream. Horton's H-O-R-T-O-N-S spells a treat. And a very special treat when it's Horton's Grand Cherry Vanilla Ice Cream. Thrown from the barge into the water by the impact of the destroyer that came knifing through the fog... Bulldog Drummond found himself struggling for his life with a man driven out of his mind by rage and fear. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, let go. You down us, I tell you. You done it. I don't know how, but I'm going to I'm going to kill you. Captain Drummond, sir. Captain Drummond. Then, oh, sir, here. Here, this plague, sir. It'll support us both. I'm diving. Trying to find Slim. Who went crazy? Had to fight him. Baby's drowned. Can't. Can't seem to. 
to locate them at all. The explosions I heard, sir. Get bombs. Destroy going after those subs. You don't hear them now. Must be finished. Maybe they can pick us up. Ahoy, the destroyer! Hooray! And there you have it, Commander. At a cost of nothing more than a few buckled plates, you bagged yourself two submarines and an assorted litter of racketeers. What's more, you've got a lead to an enemy agent. Slim's gone, of course, but Bell can give you enough evidence for an indictment. Good hunting, eh? Excellent hunting, Captain Drummond. Begging your pardon, sir. Yes, Danny, what is it? Well, sir, perhaps I'm stupid, but really, sir, I still haven't the slightest notion how you managed to bring this destroyer to our rescue. It was very easy. I first sent out the code message, then changed my style of sending a bit and tapped out an SOS. An SOS, sir? Precisely. I gave a position beyond Reef Island, so the vessels coming to our rescue from the harbor would be forced to approach near our actual position. Commander Davis here, thinking himself on an errand of mercy, heard the whistles of the tug and assumed it marked his objective. Oh, but, sir, huh? how did you dare send such a message with that woman listening, sir? She warned you that she couldn't be tricked, sir, that she un- understood the operation of the wireless. On the contrary, Danny. Although she wasn't aware of it, she told me the exact opposite. Oh, but, sir, I distinctly heard her. Danny, you distinctly heard her try to bluff me. Slim was the wireless operator, not Bell. Why in the world else would she choose to keep us alive until he came to again? Oh, and uh, speaking of the wireless, Commander, would it be possible to radio a personal message ashore? Well, I, uh, yes, yes, I think in this case we might make an exception. It's to uh, Mrs. Timothy Regan at 816 Water Street. Yes. Tell her the rat that killed Tim is at the bottom of the Atlantic. And, Commander, mm-hmm. you spell rat... N A Z I. Bulldog Drummond will return in just a moment. Meanwhile, probably all of you have wished at some time or other that you could buy ice cream well in advance of eating it and keep it for hours with no fear that it would melt. If you have, folks, you ought to try Horton's, H-O-R-T-O-N-S, Horton's Ice Cream in the handy ice tray pack. Because this convenient Horton's Ice Tray package is made so it slips neatly into the freezing compartment of your refrigerator and keeps the ice cream firm and delicious for hours. There are several flavors and combinations of flavors of Horton's Tempting Ice Cream packed in this convenient ice tray package, too. So try some tonight or tomorrow. Say the delicious vanilla, orange, ice, and strawberry combination. Just ask your Horton dealer for Horton's Ice Cream in the handy ice tray pack. And now here's Captain Bulldog Drummond to tell us about next week's story. Next week... We are faced with the attempted murder of a kindly old man for a most evil reason. And Denny keeps me from catching a cold at a most opportune moment. Be with us next week, won't you?